don't know what that noise is. What is that noise? Man, as I get further out here, as I get further out here into the sticks, man, I hope there's no wild dogs. Uh, I have a... Let's, I'm gonna get back to you on this one. But this is the hostel that I spent the night at last night. The very, very, very nice owner. He painted this. Hey, check this out. I don't know what that is, but it looks really old and really pretty. Running in Istanbul is kind of a madhouse. It's Sunday afternoon, it's beautiful out, so I figured I'd go for a run. I was gonna go along the river. So I looked at the map and I cruised down and I stumbled upon this. It's just this madhouse. And honestly, it looks as bad as it looks. I ran this way for like two miles and it's just a cluster for two miles. It's just like no people just going in and out of traffic. It's just like there's like motorcycles on the sidewalks and stuff. And I don't know who would willingly drive into that on their Sunday afternoon, but. I was an idiot for running that way. Never again. Status update. I don't know what kind of uh... Obligatory providing of context. This was actually shot on two separate days. The first part I obviously just went for a run and then another day I actually went out into the mountains to see my friend Cezanne. She had just opened a, a hamburger shop a few weeks previously. I don't know what kind of tourist Istanbul thinks it's a good idea to go to Istanbul and then go an hour outside the city into the suburbs, but yet here we are. It was a little bit of a trek to get out there though. So I took the metro to the end, to the last line, and then I got on a tiny little bitty bitty bus and took that more or less to the end of the bus line. It wasn't expensive, it was like 10 Turkish lira in all, which is somewhere in the realm of $3. I'm gonna go see my friend Cezanne because she has a hamburger restaurant out here. So now I have a 10 minute walk ahead of me to locate the restaurant that apparently isn't on Google Maps. I'm now navigating the Turkish countryside in the dark on a very, very, very foggy day. I was wondering like how I managed to get out of here by myself. Phenomenally easy. Basically, she gave me the location pin on, on Google Maps or whatever, and I, I took the metro out here, and I could have taken a taxi. It would have been way easier. It just would have been more expensive, and then like, I don't know, I got time. I'm adventurizing. What do I care? So I plugged it in on Google Maps, spit out the uh, the, the bus number. Uh, none of the buses had numbers on them, but <laughs> I just kind of walked along and looked at the sides, and then I asked somebody, I was like, hey, does this go to this spot? He's like, I don't know, and then we asked the bus driver, and yeah, it was chill. I think it's a, uh, I think it's a religious thing. Hey, I think I found the burger place. <laughs> it's gonna be so cool. Okay, I found the burger place, it's right here. Cezanne was my roommate in Bangkok. I was in Bangkok for a month and I was doing a study thing there. Uh, it's been almost a year or just, or just over a year. And I guarantee the first thing she's gonna say is like, Jake, oh my God. So here we go. <laughs> Cezanne? No fucking way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! How did you find it? Yeah. Oh my god! Is hi. Everyone, this is Cezanne. Oh my god! You bought this one? Yeah, this is her restaurant. <laughs> hi, 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 hi. I'm Jake. Hey, I'm Jake. Nice to meet you. Hi, hi, hi. 
<laughs> okay. So I hung out with Suzanne for a little bit. Her and her sister kind of chatted and caught up, had some hamburgers. And then we had this plan for me to come back in a few days and actually help her cook, help out on like a busy day. Like we both thought it'd be fun for me to like be behind the stove cooking hamburgers and stuff. She was like, Jake, do you want to come and cook on Sunday? I'm like, yeah, sure, let's do it. That sounds awesome. So we filmed this bit. All right, bye Suzanne. I'll see you later. Thank you for having me. No, bye. Jake, you cannot leave. What do you mean? Why not? Is it going on? Yeah. <laughs> and the idea was to cut it right when she said you have to stay and help and then like the next shot would be me with like the hat, the little apron, you know, behind the counter uh, a few days later. No, Jake, you cannot leave. Why? I don't know what to say. <laughs> bye, bye, no, thank you. <laughs> That was so good. Bye, Cezanne. Bye. No, Jake, you cannot leave. W why not? You have to help me. Oh. Unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to link up again. Uh, I didn't get a chance to go be like a burger chef in Istanbul. Oh, man, that's so sad. And then I filmed this little bit in the metro, just kind of talking about it's awesome to travel solo, but it's also awesome to have people who you can be with, who are familiar with the setting, who can kind of show you a little bit more about the place that you're at. Real quick, before I get yelled at again by a nerdy security guy, when I saw my friend Cezanne today, my attitude like totally changed. Being in a big foreign city where you don't know anybody as like a tourist versus being in a place where you have a friend you can go and you can talk to. It's an awesome feeling. I encourage you guys if you... Hmm? So my attitude like totally changed as soon as I saw my friend. I went from being like a like a tourist in a foreign city that I didn't know anything about to kind of being a tourist in a foreign city that I don't know anything about, but with friends. A friend can tell you, oh, you should go here to eat, you shouldn't do this, you should do that. Kind of show you a little bit about their culture that you probably wouldn't get to experience just kind of wandering through. I don't really know like a good call to action to give you, but maybe it could be like before you go somewhere, try and find some friends from that place that live there. And then likewise, if you know people that are coming to visit from out of town, from other countries, you should try and do the same and try and try and welcome them to your, your place of residence. I would highly encourage it. They will thank you forever. I mean, it totally changes their experience. Uh, bye.